Hey everyone, welcome to Awaken the Wonder podcast with me, your host, evangelist Caleb Wampler of Kingdom Encounters International. I've seen hundreds of thousands of people come to salvation in Jesus in countries hostile to the gospel, witnessed impossible miracles, and regularly experienced God's wonder. This show is an outflow of my life in ministry in the nations. Tune in weekly to hear miracle testimonies and encouraging stories from the fields of harvest from both me and my global ministry network. As we journey ahead, may you hunger for God as never before and awaken the wonder of your relationship with Jesus. This morning as I was praying, um, had a vision, and um, for anybody that doesn't know what a vision is, it's pretty much like a dream except for you're awake, you know? Uh, a, a vision, uh, the Lord spoke to me in a vision, and I saw this crazy thing happen, and I think it's interesting, Josh started talking to you guys about uh, stories about casting out demons and this stuff, because as I was, as I was uh, in prayer this morning, I believe God has spoken something for this group of people. And there's some bondages that need to break. There's some addictions that need to break. There are some issues maybe that you're facing that need to be broken in Jesus' name. And as I was praying, uh, in this vision, this giant spider came at me, kind of like a Lord of the Rings style. Anybody ever watch Lord of the Rings? Yeah, and you remember that scene with the spider in the cave and Frodo's like fighting for his life and everything? Yeah, it was like that, but, I, but except for that I was Frodo and the spider was coming after me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And this spider was trying to get me, and it was all nasty, and I pulled out my sword, and I'm like, you know, like Gandalf style, you shall not pass, you know, <laughs> and I'm like going at it, and in and, and this vision, well, I, I go against this spider, and it just completely breaks, and then out of nowhere, I walk out of this cave, and the scorpion's coming at me, and I'm like, what is going on right now? What is all these giant creatures that are like bigger than the size of this building over here? Like the scorpion's like bigger than the church. And it's like coming at me, and I'm like, what am I going to do, you know? And I'm like, I pull out my sword, and I'm like, in Jesus' name, and I just like go into town on this thing. And this cut the, uh, I cut off the tail of the scorpion. And then, as if that wasn't enough, this giant snake appears, and it starts coming at me. And if you guys have ever had a crazy dream, you know what I'm talking about here. But like, you feel like it's real in the moment, you know? You're like, you're just like, I just want to wake up because I don't want to die, you know? That's what it felt like. And the snake's coming at me. And this snake was like bigger, uh, bigger than these houses that are around here. And it started coming at me. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I drive you out. And I said, send the angels of the Lord. And it was like out of nowhere. I sliced through with the sword. And these angels came flying out of nowhere and literally just like knocked this thing out. And it was like so amazing to see this in the vision. And I walked right up to where the spider and the scorpion and the snake was, and I went up to where the snake was, and I grabbed my sword, and I went like this, and went, boom, just like that, and I cut the head off the serpent. And my friends, I believe it was a prophetic act for not only right now in this season and what you're facing, but also for the, for the, for the act of this nation. This was a, prof a prophetic act in Jesus' name that this is the season to cut the head off of the serpent. Come on, somebody. Um, and we know that in, in the Old Testament, we all know the famous story of David and Goliath. David is a shepherd boy. Um, this lion comes at him and this bear comes at him. And if you've never heard the story, I think all of you probably have. <clears throat> we were in the city of David last night, you know, uh, that, that, that came from David, you know, David from the, from, the, from the scripture who faces Goliath and this nine or ten foot tall giant faces David. And everybody in Israel at this time was afraid to go against the giant. This giant said, send me a man to fight me in this time. And if he beats me, then we will become your slaves. But if I beat him, then your entire nation will be a slave to us. And so this giant, his name is Goliath, and he's taunting them and, and he's ridiculing them and he's pointing his finger in their face, and he's laughing at them in the face. And my friends, this is the story of David and Goliath, this, this little shepherd boy who was the youngest in his entire family. He walks onto the battlefield to give his brothers some, some food and some drinks from his father. And he says, who is this forsaken man that has come against us? And 
they, and, and they tell him it's this giant and you're not even supposed to be here, David. And David looks at him and he says, you have defied the armies of the living God. And my friends, and he said, and he said, in this day, you will die. <laughs> and so David confronts this giant. The giant comes at him and he pulls out this smooth little sling and a stone. And my friends, he begins to swing his sling in that moment. And he goes like this, just like that. And this one little stone finds its way to the center of the forehead of Goliath. Goliath falls to the ground. And then it says that David went over and he grabbed the sword of that giant and he unsheathed it from, from, from the uh, armor that was there. And he picked up the sword and he cut off the head of Goliath. He picks up the head of Goliath and he holds it up. And he says, we have won today in Jesus' name. Come on. Is this getting anybody excited? Thank you for listening to Awaken the Wonder. If you enjoyed today's show and want more ministry like this, please visit kingdomencounters.us where you can find weekly blogs in my latest book, Hunger. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at the tag Evangelist Caleb Wampler. If the Lord leads you to partner with us in the nations in prayer and giving, visit kingdomencounters.us. I'll see you next time.